Hello everyone, this is Ace Stocky here. Welcome to another part of my Yogbox Let's Play. Um, what I would like to do is start by thanking everyone who basically said that I suck for dying so much and that I really should look where I'm... Well, I really should take notice of where my cursor is pointing and where I'm looking at uh, because of the fact that I was looking at my own death chest for like 10 seconds straight and didn't notice it. So. I agree with everyone who said those kind of things, and as soon as I find somewhere I can sleep and reset my spawn point here, this is all going to be great. For some reason though, there doesn't seem to be any beds. What kind of big Japanese fort thing doesn't have beds? Probably going to get up the top here and there's going to be nothing up here either, is there? Wow, yeah, look at that. What I've also done is, hopefully this works, excellent. I have, whoops, wrong button. I have updated my keys for, look at that, scorpions galore. Sorry, got distracted again. What I was saying is I've updated my keys for the Rays minimap to be the same as the keys for the Technic pack. I just copied the key config file over. so. I've also changed my Millionaire Village keys to be the same as my Technic Pack configuration because that's how I like it. And this should basically just make things a little bit easier for me. Um, werewolf. Other werewolf. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that, so I'm going to just... I got nothing. Um, I wonder if I can do anything with these eggs. Not looking like it. I still can't believe though that I managed to. There we go. I managed to totally lose all of my iron ore that I had. I'm really disappointed. That's quite annoying. Did that? Why am I? I'm not sure what happened then. Somehow all my tools got in places where my tools shouldn't be. Much better. Okay, it seems oh, another day, another update, so I'm sorry if anything looks like it's a bit different than last time. Once again, there has been another update to the Yog Box. It looks as though they've added some really cool mods in. It looks like they've actually added the Minions mod and a couple of other different ones, so I'm really excited about that. Um, he's spazzing a bit. What, what is he doing? Ah, he seems to be the head guy. I'm not even going to try and pronounce those things. They don't seem to really want much of the stuff that I have. I suppose I could tell them cobblestone if it was morning. It's got to be close to morning, doesn't it? Um, ah, grass. That must be stone. There's another building over here. I wonder if that's a connected village or a different village. Oh, werewolf. Hopefully werewolves can't climb ladders. Yes they can. Darn it. Hopefully they haven't got pathing AI. Uh, most darn it. Isn't someone going to protect me? Isn't that your job village? I can hear him but I can't see him. I reckon he's probably going underneath. Oh, I don't care. I'm staying up here where it's safe. Um, sun's just starting to come up on the horizon. Not that you can really see it. Who on earth puts windows at that level? This must be some kind of fort where they expect people to shoot out of things. Ha, I'm on your throne. Did he just attack me? No. No. Nope. Sure, I heard that werewolf. Ha! Ah, look at that. Golden apple and stone pickaxe. Where's our? Be right there, guy. Ah, yeah. that's a funky looking outfit you got on. Let's sell him some stone. Lots of stone. I don't have a need for it. 
And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish getting that. Actually, no, before I do anything else, I'm going to go get my chest. What's really odd is there doesn't seem to be any sound. The rain is just not making a noise. I find that most odd. Not that much, isn't it? I'm sure rain normally makes a sound. Well, I wonder if I've just been playing with Matmos for so long that I've forgotten what it sounds like when it's not raining. Ah, yes, yeah, so. Um, I need to place a waypoint here. That was not the correct key, neither was that. You scared me. There we go, we'll call this uh, village node. Okay, I'll know where that is now. So now I just need to casually head over this way. And I got so many comments from people about staring at my own chest that I'm going to go back and find it. Death chest did work, which is excellent. So what I'm also going to do is make a... No, I already have a crafting table. That's excellent. Gonna make another chest just in case I die again. So that's wool. That was not part of the plan. That was. Seeing as I have three wool. Time to make a place to sleep. And then just enough planks left to make a death chest. Because I can just tell. I'm going to need that again. There are just werewolves roaming everywhere. Okay, I'm trying to be extra, extra observant this time. Okay, it must have been over that way somewhere, because I know I built this stone wall to keep the werewolf away. It was... where's my big map? It was over near the edge of that snow mountain, so it's more than likely this way somewhere. Dirt. Up we go. Okay, before we go and do that and get ourselves all lost and tangled up again, just going to... Do I have an iron pick? Yes. I'm sure that's got to be a diamond. Yes! Fantastic. And that's some more iron. How much more iron do I need? I've got... That'll be six pieces of iron now. I want to see if I can get enough pieces of iron to make a chest plate. should probably concentrate on using my stone axe for most of this stuff. And save my iron axe for when I really need it. Sorry, my iron pickaxe when I really need it. But once again, uh, big map. It's got to be over that way. I keep feeling the need to come back here to try and find my five blocks of iron ore that I dropped. But I just know that's never going to happen. Okay, that is in some more angry cats over there, so run this way and avoid them. Some more sheep. It could very, very easily be that I have no idea where I'm going and I'm going to get totally lost. That pig looked like it had wings on. Okay. 
So something else that I have noticed is I'm back up to four hearts now, and I was at four hearts, and then I was at three hearts, and then I was at four hearts. So there seems to be a little something that's going on with the way the system is configured for the more health RPG. And I'm wondering if every time the Yog box is updating, because I think it's done five updates since I first started playing, I'm thinking that every time it updates, it's adjusting the configuration file and messing it up on me. And once again, I am just roaming around and exploring because alligators don't want to mess with them at the moment. Turtle, don't really need that at the moment. Because yeah, I'm, I'm just totally lost. I have absolutely no idea where I am or where I should be. Just roaming around, checking stuff out. I've definitely ended up in a different place than I wanted to be. I'm not what kind of mushroom you are. I think you're a brown mushroom, aren't you? How on... How can I even tell? Yeah, I'm thinking there might be a slight amendment to this in a couple of moments. Back soon. Okay, I'm back. And I'm back sporting a new texture pack. It feels like my mouse sensitivity is off. Oh no, it's fine. What I have done is I have changed texture pack. Not totally sure about those yellow dots on the edge of the swamp grass, but I can now tell that those are brown mushrooms. And everything looks similar to regular Minecraft, but a little bit different. You know, you can see that I've still kind of kept the pickaxes looking different and the shovels looking different and iron tools definitely looking better. So, you know, everything looks a little bit different but still kind of good, so... For those of you who are interested, I'll put a link to this texture pack in the description to this video. It's the Quandry texture pack, and this particular variant is Spring. Because I figured, you know, Spring would be nice. It's coming up to Spring now here in the US, so... Oh wow. That looks like an underwater ravine. And that looks like... what does that look like? Mr. Skeleton. I'm just gonna teach Mr. Skeleton a lesson here. And then I'm going to make four torches, because apparently that's all that I can do. I do like the fact that the torches look like torches again. Basically this texture pack is designed to look very similar to the default Minecraft texture pack, but just a little bit different so that you know you're playing something that's not exactly the same as regular Minecraft. So the reason I kind of like this texture pack is because I've got so used to all of the textures of default Minecraft that I don't like changing them. So going to try this texture pack out and see if this works, noting that it's it's very, very similar, but slightly different. And then I'm going to create myself just a little base of operations just here, and then I'm going to head down into this ravine and see if I can find myself some good stuff. And I'm thinking equivalent exchange is still included as part of this mod, so I'm thinking I might make myself some divining rods, and then go off in search of good stuff. Start with some coal. Wow, lots of coal here. I'm starting to get really hungry, so I'm going to cook this all this food I have up. I have lots of food. So... Start by cooking up some pork chops. You can see that once again, pork looks like pork. It doesn't look like bacon. Please post your comments on this video when you see it, and let me know what you think. 
note that I have been having some real issues this weekend that's just gone, which is the St. Patrick's Day weekend trying to upload YouTube videos. I'm not sure what it is, but I know there's been a number of other people having the same problem. It's almost like YouTube has updated their uploader and the new upload is busted. I can't say that's for sure what it is, but that, it seems to be something similar to what's happening. But I have worked a way around it. You just don't kind of get any feedback. So what might happen is you might see that I upload a video with no description and just a silly title. Yeah, that, that would be because the video has uploaded and hasn't let me know that it's uploaded, so I haven't been able to change things. So, how's my food going? Beautiful. I'm going to cook up some of this iron. Let's see if I can make myself some iron armor. Perfect. That's lots of torches. Once this guy's finished in here, I'm going to... I had something planned and now I have no idea what it was. Ah, yes, I'm going to make some charcoal. Eight pieces. What's a crafting table look like? Okay, there we go. So that should be just the right amount to give me a chest plate. Boom. Consider me a little bit protected, maybe. Here we go. One piece of coal. And I need lots of cobblestone. Hopefully I've got enough of that. Sorry, yeah, one piece of charcoal, not coal. There's my covalence dust. Bam. Divining rod. That divining rod is absolutely useless, so I now need to find myself some iron and some redstone. What I am going to do though, before I go and get lost and lose all my stuff, I'm going to sleep and reset my spawn point. Beautiful. I was hoping Somnia wasn't installed. I love Somnia as a mod. I think the idea of it is fantastic. Sometimes it just makes sleeping really difficult. Whoa. Whoa. That was the express elevator that I wasn't planning on taking. But, I'm down here now. That looks to be redstone. And that looks to be diamonds. I think I have found an excellent place. Now, something I don't think I've done yet. I might do that in a second. I'm just going to light this up a little bit to try and avoid too many bad things happening to me. Okay. Just going to... going to create a little cubby hole here for myself. I'm going to bring up F3 so that you can see the seed. Hopefully it's really easy to see there with the white on the background. That way for those of you who want to follow my aimless ramblings and get completely and totally lost like I did, you've now got a place to get lost in. Beautiful. Now where was my iron pick? Let's get that diamond. And hope there's more. Just the one. I was not really hoping that would be one diamond. I was hoping there'd be, you know, seven or eight or, or ten. One's kind of boring actually. But that's okay. Now I've got some redstone. Lots of redstone. Lots of redstone. A bit more there. Okay, so now I should be able to... I have no iron smelted. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find a bit more iron and then head back up to my base. It's going to be just typical if there's none. It's lots of gold. 
Actually, all that gold's going to be really useful later for Thorncraft. Uh, a bit of iron. A bit more iron. Looks like a bit more iron. I've only got three hearts, so I must remember not to drown myself. And once I make up some covalence dust, I'm going to start these things repairing. Just get a quick breath. Okay, this is going to be... This is going to be how it is. I'm going to have to block this off. Nope, that was not the correct button. There we go. Ah, typical. It's always the way. Just when you think you got the water blocked off, the water finds a way around. Much better. I am the master of the water. I appear to also be the master of finding iron at the moment, so this is really good. I've got my one diamond as well, so if I could remember how to make the high covalence dust, I could probably do some of that as well. Come on, up we go, up we go, up we go. I know there's a diamond in high covalence dust. But that's about all I can recall at the moment. There we go, a little set of stairs up. Let's throw all of this iron in there. Cook it all up. You can hear... There's a fish. Seriously, a fish. Looks like there's some more iron over that way, not too far. See what's down here, some cobble. So if anyone can remember how to make high covalence dust, I know I've probably done heaps of my other Let's Plays, but I have just no idea how to make it. I know that I need redstone and iron to make the medium covalence dust and I know I need a diamond and something to make the high covalence dust but I have just got no idea what that something is I'm sure it would be really obvious to me once I've done it for now I might put a bunch of this stuff away I can't see myself needing most of it anytime soon. I will take that though, because that's going to be really handy. I'm going to need that death chest later, I'm just sure of it. Put my diamonds away. At least if I make this medium divining rod now, at least I'm going to have some ability to know where things are. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Um, best found one. Wonder what my keys are for it. Controls, maybe? Thinking. Uh, extra function C. Toggle active G. Ooh, best value 256, that should mean there's some iron through there. That's good. Let's see if my divining rod works or if it's broken. Said it should be within 16 blocks, because that's the range I have. And gravel's definitely not worth 256. 
Look at that. Uh, dividing rods never steer you incorrectly. Look at that, he even found me a little bit of a bonus vein here in the back. Beautiful. So I'll come back over here and I'll chuck all that in as well. Cook all that up. And while I'm at it, where do my low covalent stuffs go? While I'm at it, I'll repair this stone pick. Because I don't want to have to make a new one. And just trying to work out where I want to go. Looking, trying to see if there's anything good in any of these ways. And I found some diamonds, so I got pretty lucky already. Looks like there's, that looks like a lot more iron over there, and that's about the same height as I am. That should be fairly easy to get to, I'd think. And I, hopefully, yeah, that should be 11 more iron. So let's make some pants, some boots. Hopefully, this should go some way to making up for the fact that I've only got four hearts. And to be honest, I look pretty spunky with those little stubby, chubby arms sticking out of my armor with my cool green hat hat on. Um, looks like it's still daytime. So, yep, still daytime. Um, let's see what the divining rod tells me. Boom, best value 128, that means there's some coal there. I think I might head down to the bottom again. And just start branch mining off. Let's see what's over this way. Boom, 128. 320, that's some redstone. don't really plan on doing a whole lot with redstone at the moment. 2048 hay, so there's some gold there. And a bunch of iron. Come on. Not happy with all this water flow. Let's light this up. Don't want anything spawning and surprising me. Oh, well, that's probably going to happen anyway, because they're probably going to still spawn behind me. Now iron pick time. Now that I can pretty much repair my iron pick, I'm thinking I'll probably use it a bit more often. So what happened if we go this way? Best found 256. Hmm. For some reason it didn't pick up the redstone. Don't care, not complaining. Boom, best value found 128. Something odd just happened then. Best found 256. Looks like we're going this way now. This isn't even branch mining, this is like maze mining or something crazy. So I'm not staying in the same direction at all. I'm kind of going off on random tangents as well, looking for iron. There's definitely some iron that way. The fact that it says average value 16 as well means it might be a reasonable size vein. Looks like it is. Already got the brightness up full, so can't get any fuller than full. So how we gone so far? 14. Best value one. Not the direction I want to head. Gold. Time to go this way. Wish I had some kind of tool that was just as good for mining stone as it was for dirt. I think they've got that, I think it's called like a red matter morning star or something like that. 
I think that would be a cool tool to get, although based on the fact that I'm dying every five minutes and I've got almost no hearts, I'm having trouble finding diamonds, I can't imagine there's going to be any good reason for me to go to the nether anytime soon. Must be getting close now, it's still saying, oh, look at that. All this gold is going to come in really handy once I start Thorncraft. Bit of iron that way, nothing that way, nothing that way, nothing good that way or that way. Must be redstone everywhere around here. Okay, I think I might pause this for a while and I will come back in a little while when I have a a bit of a game plan as to what I'm going to do because I don't want to keep mining forever but I do want to try and get a third diamond so I can make a diamond pick before I go too much further so back soon okay I had a bit of a think about what it is that I'm going to do and I have decided that I have quite a bit of cobble and quite a lot of iron and gold so I'm thinking I'm just gonna try and find one more thing that's worth getting should be this way just like one more bit of iron or whatever and then I'm going to head back to the village and see if I can sell some of this stuff see if I can sell some of my wares I'm at the perfect height too that I should be finding well I guess the ideal place for diamonds to spawn is just below 10. I think it peaks around about the 8 mark. But you still should find a reasonable amount of them up here. Why am I not finding any iron? It's got to be close now. I don't want to. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, it's a good vein too. That's excellent. Because I want to break my pick. Um, 4. 128, 320, let's go this way, see what we get, 128, just in case I get lucky and there's a 3,000 somewhere around here, oh, I mean sorry, an 8,000, 2,000, I knew I said I wasn't going to do this but, ah, good, it was close, because I don't know that I'm going to have that much use for gold, but as quickly as I can, I want to get started with Thorncraft. Okay, so time to head back up now. Yeah, I've got some medium dust, so let's use that medium dust and repair that pickaxe back. And now I just need to work out which way is out. Beautiful. One thing I really like about this texture pack is cobblestone has a really nice look to it. Oh my goodness. Okay, this could be about to end really badly. Um, where is out? Hopefully, he can't swim up waterfalls. Hopefully. Oh, apparently neither can I. Don't want to end up in the lava. No. Ah, come on. Turns out I'm doing this all wrong. I'm going to do what I can now to try and run away really fast and lure him into the lava. Ah, you stupid water. Get me out of here. Okay. What just happened? Why is he not chasing me? I 
I can hear him. I'm positive he's there still. 18 blocks, that should be enough dirt. I'm going for the emergency backup way out. Which is up. And I will deal with him at some later date. How much higher do I have to go? Way higher. Perfect. It's night time, so let's sleep until morning. Hope nothing spawns and gets me while I'm sleeping. Beautiful. Now let's... Um, no, I think I might take that with me. And take that with me and what's in here. Hopefully I can fit all this in my inventory. It's not looking like I can. Um, let's see what I can leave. That should be fine. I managed to get pretty much everything. Uh Come on, swim up. I really don't like swimming up waterfalls, it takes such a long time, but there is really no better way to get lots of resources than to get to the bottom of a ravine as quickly as possible. And that's about the quickest way I can think of. I have to check on my armor, that guy hit me quite a bit. Come on. Hopefully this doesn't make for viewing that's too boring, but I can imagine that it will. some funky looking water particle effects too. I wonder if that's part of the new texture pack or whether it's always been there and I just haven't seen it before. What is that? That was a werewolf. So I'm not gonna take the chance with him. Okay, time to head back to the village. Ah, another werewolf. Did he just... I think he just despawned. I think that was gunpowder. But again, not completely sure. If anyone can remember where my chest is, please post the comment to me because I really am keen to get back and see what I had in that first chest before I died. But I have no idea where it is. Unless it's just up here. Because I think... No. No, definitely not here and I'm definitely not missing it. I have no idea what you are. Here's my first little escape hole. Chest isn't here, is it? Lots of lava there. No, I'm not seeing it. Never mind. Run back to the village. How much wood do I have? 17 logs, that's not all that good. There's a giant forest out there though, so it's not going to take me too long to get some more in a little while. It looks like a thorncraft tree, I guess it's not. There's some really nice terrain generation around here. And that guy is doing something funky. Time to put our swords away and let's sell some stuff. Lots and lots and lots and lots of cobble sold. Well, they buy gravel. They buy wheat as well. I'm going to need to use some of those seed. Oh, those two seeds I have to make a farm. That's not a very useful farm. Um, wonder if they're like friends with me yet. Wonder how that'll go. Mm, better if I can find the guy I'm supposed to talk to. 
There he is at the top. Very kingly of him. They want to make a smith and they need thatch and gravel. How on earth do you make thatch? It's not like a thatch maker. I can sell thatch to them, so maybe there is a way of making it. That's going to be something else I'm going to have to Google. I'm going to have to Google that and the high covalence dust. You can talk to me, right? Ah, oh, man, you and your funky colours. Okay. Never mind. I think I'm going to call an end to this episode here. This should be the end of part three of my Let's Play. Please post some comments. Let me know what you'd like to see me do in the next episode. Otherwise, I am going to go and try and get as much gravel as I can. Looks like there's a good source of gravel over in that mountain just there and just there. So I'm going to go try and get lots of gravel and lots of wood and maybe some cobblestone as well to try and sell to them. So thank you very much for watching. Hey, stocky out.